It seems like it'll let me do it closer if I turn them the other way, but that's... I don't like that idea either. Okay, well... back everybody to the planet crafter and the bearded OG and uh, we just learned the genetic extractor um, and so yeah we're gonna start off this episode by uh, finishing our food farm I've got um, I think I got everything here that we need to, to finish it out so let's start by uh, putting down our the actual farms themselves uh, so, so I've got a total of 16 bee larvae, which means we're going to make eight farms. Um, oh, I, f mm, I forgot to bring the other seeds, so we'll start with the four beans. We're going to need eight of those. I think that's everything we need for the farm. Um, oh, you know what? I forgot. Um, I forgot the, the T1 fertilizer. Okay, let's run back and grab that real quick. And whilst we're here, we can get the other the other food seeds as well. Um, so we're going to do four beans, and then we'll do a squash, an eggplant, and a, and a mushroom. Uh, I'm just trying to decide which one of these I should double up on. But maybe two mushrooms, because we need that for... For bioplastic? Um, yeah, probably. Okay. So, um, and then after we get after we get the farm finished up, we're going to uh, we're gonna set up our tier two aquarium. I'm um, looking forward to that. That's gonna be cool. Alright, so we need eight of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Let's head on back to the farm. Um, all right, so it's nasty out here. Um, I and I just have the one tier two beehive. Um, we'll probably put, I'll uh, we'll probably put more of those in as well. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to uh, let's get the first farm. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta get the rest of the ingredients. Open that up. Um, put, let's put the seeds back in here for now. We don't need those yet because we need all of this. Except for two. Um, and we're also going to need super alloy. So, yeah, we'll only be able to, to carry three for the first one. Okay, so what I think I want to do, it looks like these do line up with the foundations. Yeah, pretty much they do. Okay. Um, let's see, do we, do we have a, I, I'm having a brain fart here. Do we have a snap option in this game? I've been playing uh, Satisfactory and Enshrouded in Valheim. Um, and those games have a snap option. I don't think this one does. If it does, I'm become drawing a complete blank. Press the uh, control. Yeah, that's the chain construction thing, which I don't want to do here because I want to make sure that these are lined up. See, this is being real picky here. It's not quite letting me 
bump it up against there. Alright, that's probably about as close as it's going to get. One of you guys mentioned in the comments that I, I should have left the the extension out here and made it like a little fishing dock. Um, I thought that was kind of a cool idea. Except for, I don't think we can fish in the game. Can you fish in this game? I don't, I, I don't think so. If you can, let me know. <laughs> I don't think you can fish in this game. That would be cool. Okay, so... This one's going to stick out just a smidge, I think. Yeah, that that's kind of irritating me. Um I might I'm going to redo these and I'm going to start on this end and work the way back cuz I don't want that sticking out. But um Let's uh let's rotate this Yeah, like this. And what we'll do is start this one here. I suppose I, I could. Yeah, I can change I can chain these. Cause that way they stay oh no, they don't stay rotated. Well not not that that's a big deal to just use the mouse wheel. Yeah, but it doesn't let me completely bump it up against there. So each one I put down gets pushed out a little bit more. And, you know, that being the case, I'd rather have it overlap on this end. Whoop. No, uh, what the hell did I do? I didn't rotate this one. That's what I did. Or or didn't do, as the case actually is. There we go. Okay, so get you as close as possible. Why don't, quit hitting the escape button. Okay, let's redo all of these. All right. Very good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to plant beans on the side where the auto crafter is and then the other produce on the other side. Um, so beans go in there. I like these farms, man. They're cool. And I think each one of these grows five plants, I believe. And they grow them much faster than the, than the, you know, the other growers the indoor growers okay let's do uh let's do a mushroom and a mushroom and a squash and an eggplant and i'm doing i'm doing these oh nice frog display i'm doing these more for funsies uh, they're not actually going to be part of the food farm but um yeah i'm just doing it for the hell of it because i can okay get over it <laughs> I'm sure none of you mind that I'm doing that. Uh, I need to actually replenish my uncommon larvae too because I used them all up uh, to uh, do the thing. Okay, now, uh, I also brought out a couple more um, things to make butterfly farms and, uh, and a thing to make a, a trade rocket. Yeah, okay. So for the butterfly farms, I, I'm I'm doing that more also for funsies, not because we have to, but I thought it'd be cool to get some butterflies going out here. Um, except for that, once again, if we put them up here, we're gonna kind of have the. Uh, well, you know what? That doesn't look bad. Let's put it there. And I made one of the Serena butterflies, and I tried to make another one, but it came out as an Emio. But that's okay because the Emio is actually pretty pretty too. Look at these guys, man. Gorgeous. Okay, and then we'll put the other one uh, maybe over here. Just to kind of add more beauty to the place. More life, you know. Look at you guys. I love you. I love you. You're beautiful. 
Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Okay, so now this guy, um, I kind of have it in my, I don't know if that one tier two can support all four of these farms. Um, and you should be ready to rock and roll. Yeah, you're set to that. You've, you can access all four farms plus two on the other side. Uh, what's the matter with me? I'm thirsty. Pay attention. Um, yeah, so you can access, access the beehive, those four farms there. And so, yeah, you're, it's just going to wait for these. But I, I have a feeling like when the beans are ready, you know, that's going to be 20 beans in total. And what's this recipe require? That it's a one-to-one. -one. Um, so that means we would need five of these to support these. But here's the thing, though. The honey comes in a lot faster than the beans do. So we could probably get away with two to three of these and be fine. I think five is overkill. So let's go back uh, to the canyon base and get stuff to make. Oh, I need to make more bee larvae. Okay, I'm going to have to do that later then. Um, well, we could, we could get one started. Um, yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's get one started. So we need a mutagen and a regular fertilizer. Oh, it just got the tier two butterfly farm. How funny, man. I just put those things down. Well, what the hell? Let's make these instead. Um, okay, so that means we need two more of these. We need two bioplastic. And we need two cloth. Do I even have a bin for cloth? I've just been selling it. Well, here, let's just grab it out of here, I guess. And then we'll get the zeal from downstairs. Okay, you are 63% of the way there. Let's go back to the food farm. Um, and we'll go, we'll redo these. Oh, I gotta take this out first. And put the big ones down. Oh, look at that, we can put two in there, okay. Nice. Hmm, I don't... I gotta say, though, I don't like that this isn't level. Can we at least try and make it a little more level? That, that's... I mean, it's kind of jank there, but that that's better. I like that better. Okay. Pull you out of here. We'll put you in here. Look at all the butterflies. Okay, we'll deconstruct this. We'll put a new one up here. Um, and then we'll have to go back to the base to make the larva for that one. Yeah, see how fast these things grow? It's crazy, man. Absolutely crazy. All right, now... What I want to do next is I want you um, to demand food. So the drones will, will do that. And then I want you to supply food. Okay. All right, now, the next thing is, is uh, we need to put our trade rocket down. Uh, we got a pretty nice flat area over here that we might be able to do that with. Let's get those ore out of the way just in case they cause us some trouble.
All right, why don't we turn it this way? Yeah, I like that. Okay, and I want you to demand food. And I want you to have a higher priority so that way the drones fill this up before it tries to fill up the, the storage. So the storage is just for overflow. Okay, cool. So we need to go back to the base. We need to make two more larvae. And I'll pick up a couple more uncommon here so that way we can also make some more bees. It's looking nice out here, though. This is just such a gorgeous spot, you know? Um, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's get a drink of water there. All right, so we need to... I think we just needed one bee larva for a second. Okay, uh, for a second um, beehive, but I, I think I want to make three in total. Let's make another bee larva here. Oh, okay. Right, because the tier two only needs one bee larva. Yeah, that's right, okay. So we'll put this, um, that larva in there, and then I want to make two more butterflies of the good ones. And that means we need, uh, we're going to need two more tier two muties, which we don't have. Um, so that means we need a regular mute, a common larva, and a honey times two. Uh, where am I going? Go this way. Honey. I should have some honey in... Where am I at? In here. There we go. Okay. Okay, we'll make uh, two of these. Grab the bees out of here. Put the rare, the furt, and the T2 in. And get that research going. That, that, and that. Right? E uh, yeah. Yep, that's right. Okay. Okay, so we got those going. Uh, we have two more uh, bee larvae here. So we need... Um, what? Why do I have those in my inventory? Was it to make another one of these? I guess so. Yeah, I I, I guess so. <laughs> I'm my I I I'm like I'm confused. I'm always confused. You guys are going. So what else is new? Okay. Um. T -t 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 so yeah, we have everything we need to make two more of those guys. And um. So we're just waiting on. You're doing something, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's run back and get the two beehives set down. I really, really wish there was some way I could make those level, but we, we had that discussion the last time. The only way to do that is I, I'd have to move them far, too far away from the the auto crafter, and then we'd have to have drones transport everything. And I was kind of wanting to try to avoid that, just to make the process a little more efficient. Um, you are in range of all three of those beehives. Okay, look, it's already making making food like crazy. That is amazing. Okay, why do I have two zeolite in my inventory? I grabbed them for something. I just don't remember what it was. Um, wasn't for that. It wasn't for that. We already made two of those. 
Oh, I know what. That's left over from the tier one butterfly farms that I took apart. That's what it is. Okay. All right, let's go back and get our larva. Now I understand what's going on. Okay, we got a Serena out of that one. And we got a Serena out of that one. Cool. Okay. This is gorgeous, guys. Isn't this awesome? So these guys will just grow and sit there, and if I ever need them, I can come pick them. But these these ones will be continually, you know, harvested by the auto crafter. Do we have any honey in here yet? No, not not quite yet. It'll take take a little bit. But again, um, I mean, I'll have to. I guess I'll have to kind of keep an eye on it. Maybe these aren't as fast as I think they are. Oh, did I set this to auto launch? I don't think I did. Yeah, okay. So that way when it fills up, it'll just go. All right. That's um that's pretty much it, guys, for the for the food farm. Uh it, you know, at least in terms of what I had planned for it. And uh, so this will just start cranking out food, sending the rocket up, making money for us. And you know, if we if we run out of food at the main base, we'll just come out here and grab a batch of it and we have our food. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Let's head on back to the main base. Next order of business today is to get our aquarium, our tier two aquarium going. I'm excited to do this. Um, so let's pin it here. And um, we're going to need a circuit, a super rod, a tier two fertilizer, and the three types of plankton. Super rod, circuit board, and the plankton I have in here. So we need an A, a B, and a C. I think that's everything. And then we'll have to get some fish eggs going too. So, um, we've got this there and that there. So we're gonna have to build out further and we'll, we'll put hang the aquarium out that way uh, uh oh that's why we always keep food on us just in case have another one of those and we should have a water on us too let's drink a water okay so we're gonna need to expand the hallway a bit um, where's my overflow? So give me a bunch of iron. And we also are, are going to need some titanium. That's probably all we're going to need of that. Something else I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put some glass walls down this corridor too. I think that'll look nice. All right. So, I don't know how big this thing is, so I'm going to guess that's, uh, we're going to have to, oh, hold on, oh, knock it off. That's not going to line up, right? Um. I mean, it'll work. We need to get uh Oh, you know what? Why the hell did I I completely forgot to redo the rails out here. I was going to do that and I never did. And you guys didn't tell me. You didn't remind me, so it's your fault. I'm blaming all of you. Because you guys can't expect me to remember shit like that. <laughs> oh man, that's going to bug me, you guys, that it's not centered on there. I There's nothing I can do about it. 
it's it's because again i know i complain about this a lot but it's because these damn foundations are not the right dimensions Ugh. i really hope miju games fixes that someday am i the only one in the world that complains about that maybe i'm the only one that complains about it i don't know uh okay so we just need a silicon All right, so I, I think let's let's do one uh, one more door. Uh, or I'm sorry, not one more door, one more compartment. See now, this one, well, this one's probably gonna be too far to the right. All right, let's grab this. Oh, I need a tier two fertilizer. Silly me. Our base is going to get so damn long, we're going to need a teleporter just to move around inside the base. There we go. Uh, I still get lost in my own base, too. Let's just add it from here and see what it does. Oh, this is neat. I love this. This is so cool. Um, do we have enough clearance? Yeah, I think we do. I think that was just about exactly the right spot for this. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, we got to get some fish in there. Let's, um, let's get some fish out of here. Uh, or fish eggs, if we have any in here. No, but you know what? Let's grab that so we can have it make some more. There's, uh, oh, no, you can't have those drone. I want them. What the, oh, I know what he was doing. He was, he was trying to, uh, take those back and put them in the storage bin. Cause I had just cleared some stuff out of there. That's what he was doing. He was doing his job. In other words, he was doing exactly what I told him to do. All right, so is this where we do the thing? We can have up to three species of fish in here. Oh, that is neat. Okay, um, we can also, uh, okay, what am I thinking? A fish, how do we, Uh, I'm trying to think if I want to remove this aquarium. I, d I don't think so. I like it there. It looks really neat. It's just in the way, <laughs> but that's okay. We'll, we'll make that sacrifice. We're going to leave that there. So what I want to do is I want to go to here and let's make these Alara fish eggs. I don't know. It is I think it was the Yulani's that I just put in there. Okay, so let's pin that. And we're going to need... We're going to need to make another Tier 2 mutagen. So we're going to need two of those. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. What do we need for the Tier 2? Honey and uh, mutagen and common larva. Okay. I think I want to make actually make two of these. Okay, tier two, tier two. Let's grab another one of those, and then uh, it looks like it wants plankton C, which is fine. We just got the genetic synthesizer. Okay, so we want to make the Alara fish eggs. Phyto C, Tier 2, and U. Sequencing. Okay. Let's do the same thing here. Phyto C, Tier 2, and U. Um, actually, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on.
at this point, I don't really care about the multiplier. I just want variety. It's interesting, though, that this 100% multiplier requires a tier 3 mutagen. And the 300% multiplier only requires a tier 2. That's interesting. But, again, I want, uh, what do we have in here? We have Ikaru and Yulani. Okay. I want... Let's do Chrom. So we need a, a Plankton B and a Tier 3 Mutagen. Uh, okay, so... There's a Tier 3 Mutagen. And a Plankton 3. Uh, or no. So hold on a sec. What was that again? A Plankton C. Right, okay. Uh, actually, I already... Oh, well, these guys are done. Okay, let's do that then. Plankton C, tier three mutagen, and a fertilizer. Right? Yes, correct. Okay. Uh, let's go throw these fish in. A long way down the hall, man. These look like clownfish. Nice. Can I, can we go in? Oh yeah. Okay. We can go in here. <laughs> cool. So it's almost like we have like our own sw swimming pool too. Tier two aquarium. Uh, does it tell us somewhere what this is? Do oh yeah. It, well, it's, here, let me turn this off. It'll be easier to see. So this is contributing 200 PPQs of oxygen, 14 Gs of plants, 20 Gs of insects, which is odd. I Why would this be doing insects unless it's maybe water insects? And 325 Gs of animals and currently 625% multiplier. Nice. All right, let's go grab the other fish after we get something to drink. Yulani. I'm getting my cardio in today. They're, uh, oh, th those must be those kind of deep purple fish. Next thing you know, they're going to start singing smoke on the water. Okay. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to. Gonna put in some glass. So we need a bunch of iron and a bunch of cobalt. Alright, I'm gonna put all of this stuff in the overflow. And I'll sort it out later. Just give me all this iron. And uh, do we have cobalt in there? No, no, no. Got a bunch more mutagen in there. I have to remember. Oh, there's a bunch of cobalt. Okay. So I think starting here on this side. That's cool, man. I like it. I like it. Okay, I think that the reason I didn't do the, finish those rails is because I had run out of silicon when I was trying to do them the last time. So 
So let's grab all of that. And any other silicon that I have in overflow. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, we've got a huge amount of silicon here. In fact, let's just grab all of it. And if we don't end up using it all, then I'll, I'll put some of it back. Uh, let's eat some food. And let's get some rails in out here. Because God forbid, you know, we, we fall off our platform. It's never happened before. <coughs> cough, cough. Um, okay, so... Let's start here. Yeah, see, this is the deal that's not going to line up right. So, because of that reason, I'm going to... I'm just going to center them on the foundations. Now, can I... I can probably squeeze... Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, I, I guess that means this is going to be more for aesthetics than actual actually keeping us safe. So it is what it is, right? Can't do anything about it. It's just the damn foundations. See, the, the, the thing about that, though, I know I complain about it all the time, but I don't understand the logic behind it. What's the purpose of not having these foundations match up with with the, you know, with the building pieces. Is there any logic to it? Can we fall through here? Uh, yeah, we can. Okay. Well, not that we're going to be hanging out in that particular corner, but, um, now the place that, um, the rail is actually going to be the most important is right when we go out the door. If I, uh, yeah. So that way we don't, what? I, I know, I keep hitting escape. That way we don't accidentally, if we're not paying attention, you know, do that. <laughs> um, okay, can I get that rail a little closer to the ramp? Don't know. I doubt it's going to let me do it, but let's try it. Oh. Shame on me for doubting. That's better. Okay, so I'm going to have to try really hard to to fall over the edge of that. So now what we'll do is we'll... These we'll put in, um, like... Oh, well, damn it. I'm not going to worry about that. You know what? I'm not going to worry about it. It's fine. In fact... I'll bet you I can move that over even more. Yeah. Okay. That'll slide it back a, a, enough to where it's not sticking out as much. It's still going to stick out a little bit, but I think we can live with it. Yeah, that's, that's definitely better. Okay. Why? Why is this happening? Uh, I don't know. I don't know why that's happening. Does it, it seems like it'll let me do it closer if I turn them the other way, but that's, I don't like that idea either. Okay, well. Wow. <laughs> that thing was so damn close it gave us a shave. Whew. I mean, did that, did that even technically hit me? My, my, my health is down, a uh, down, but I don't know if it's down because I'm just hungry or what. 
I'll have to go back and look at the footage. <laughs> Jeez, man. That was crazy. Okay. Anyway, um... Well, let's get some rails going on over here. They need zoop mode in this game. Like they have it in Satisfactory. Which is what I originally thought chain building meant. Until I realized that that's not what it meant. Uh... Yeah, I don't I don't think I want those to be hanging so far out uh, over the edge. So yeah, for those of you who don't know in zoop mode in Satisfactory is you hold the button down and then you can lay down <coughs> excuse me up to 20 or not 20 10 foundations or or objects um with one in, in one um a, attempt instead of having to do them individually like this. Very useful. Okay, we can't really do anything about that. See, this looks a lot nicer though even with the rails too. So, you know, it's it's uh, aesthetically pleasing as well as safe. And that actually used the last of our silicon. You know, we could also put glass roofing in too. Yeah, we need to do that. We need to do that, man. That'll look cool also. All of the drones are putting the silicon back in the bin that we took out here. Um, let's take all of that out and we'll grab all of this. What do we need? Uh, we probably need, yeah, cobalt. Oh, titanium and cobalt. Okay. Well, let's finish the rails first and then, then we're going to put in glass ceilings too. Because then that, that's going to look badass. For sure. Okay, so starting right here, let's put some glass in. There, that looks cool. Brightens things up, makes things look more spacious, more airy. And uh, all of this uh, railing really enhanced things too, I think. Should have done that a long time ago. But, you know me, can't take me anywhere. Okay, cool. All right, guys, well, I think that's, uh, we're going to wrap up this episode here. And this was a great episode. We got a lot of st stuff done. I love this aquarium. Um, in fact, you know, we need to get a screenshot of our new aquarium. How about that? Oh, hold on. We got to take these. Uh, I'm not going to be able to take the fish egg thing off without going back to the incubator. Yeah, I got to say, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I don't think I'm a big fan of of the multiple pens. Oh, what was that? That was this one. This one we can just remove straight from here. Okay. Looks so neat. Um, I mean, this is this could potentially be a nice screenshot too. So we'll take one from that angle. Let's get a little closer. about right there. Okay. Yeah, don't really like that. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of hard to, to, to see the fish that way. Ooh, that's kind of cool looking. Here, let me back up a little bit. Make sure everything is pretty level. OK, 
Okay, that could work. I, I wish um I wish I could get a little closer. I could kinda Okay, here, let me try something here. Let's back up a little bit. The problem with that is I bumped my mouse so it wasn't straight. Let's try that again. All right, try and keep the mouse straight and then go up here. All right, that might work. That might work. All right, you guys, so that is going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. It was a good episode. Um, just looking for more fish eggs. Now, I'm going to leave the plankton in there. Uh, we got a lot done, man. We got our food farm done. We got our tier two uh, uh, aquarium in. We enhanced our the corridor, the long corridor of our base. Put some safety rails up so OSHA won't come knocking. Well, actually, there's they still probably would come knocking, but let's just put it this way: the base is safer than it was. Is it safe? No, but it's safer. How's that? <laughs> And this looks really good with uh, all, you know, all the glass in here now. So much better. Okay, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Not sure what we'll do the next episode. Uh, we'll figure it out. Um, I, it's still my intention to to do the Warden storyline um, just to do it, but also, you know, with the reward that we get at the end of doing that. And, oh, and, yeah, we got animals, man. Um, animal shelter, animal feeder. So that's probably what we'll we'll focus on in the next episode. Uh, did I did I make the cooking station? Yeah, I made it. It's in it's in here, right? Yeah. Oh, look at that money. Yeah, we made this a long time ago. That's right, because I remember I made, you know, some of these soups and things. Seven Terra tokens. That restores 75 health. That's 90 health, so this is still better. First birthday cake. Chocolate chip cookies. We can make chocolate chip cookies and sell those uh, for nine Terra tokens. Actually, yeah, that these actually sell for more than the high quality food does. All right. Well, we might have to get a a production bakery going. What all does that re require again? It requires flour and chocolate. And flour requires wheat. And I think we have to buy that from the store. And chocolate uh, chocolate is cocoa, which, yeah, so we'd have to buy wheat. Oh, that's what we had to do. I had to go back to the farm and pull up the, you know, the squash and the eggplant and the two mushrooms because they're not really doing anything. I just did that for the hell of it. And we should plant some chocolate and flour there and we could also make cookies. Yeah, that's what we need to do. That's what we need to do. Um, let's see. These are cheap too, so let's um, let's just buy those now. Belkia fish eggs for five hundred. Okay, maybe later. Some of that stuff's, you know, relatively speaking, pretty damned expensive. I still don't know what the tier two drones do. Let me know what the, what these do, guys. If you would wouldn't mind in the comments, are they just faster? Can they carry more? Not sure what they what they do. I you know I've been saving up my space bucks because I want to get this living compartment to build our actual home home. Um, and we're getting there. How close are you to launching? Yeah, you're getting close. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait for that to just launch naturally, and then when it comes back, it'll bring us the. The cocoa. No, we want we want two, right? Yeah, we want two of each. I don't know what the ratio is either on these. Like, do they grow at about the same rate with the same quantity? 
So I guess we'll figure that out. Um, you know, once we get them. Very cool. Okay, so yeah, anyway, the plan for the next episode is for us to um, get started with animals. And it'll be my very first time uh, doing anything with animals. Uh, well, I, when I say animals, I should say mammals. I, I haven't watched anybody else on YouTube do anything with animals. And I haven't, of course, done anything myself. So it'll be a, a new experience. And it should be a lot of fun. Are you... What are you doing? Okay, why... Okay, I'll bet you what... I'll bet you what happened was... This has probably already launched once and come back. And in the meantime, the drone started filling this up. Um... Yeah, see, the thing is, is we can't, we can't make this be a supplier and a demander at the same time. Well, te actually you can, but, but when you, you can make it, you can tell it to supply ever. Well, okay. Let me think about this. Uh, no, it's not gonna let me do that. Is it? Oh, it is going to let me do that. Okay, so I think I, I bet you it's not because I'm not seeing, you know, when I hover my cursor over here, I'm not seeing the food in that list unless it's down so low that it's off the screen. If we, if we removed this, uh oh, what's the matter with me? thirsty there's no way for me to raise that up to see what what else is down there it might be on there I don't know can can I make this a supply and a demand at the same time because it'll let me do that The, the reason I would do that if it isn't obvious is that that way the drones, when the rocket comes back, the drones will, you know, will use the excess, you know, to put in the rocket. All right. I'm going to leave it that way and we'll, and we'll just see what it does. Let it, but if you guys know, let me know in the comments if, if that actually will work the way that I think it might. And, um... Meteorite come in. Looks like that's just a normal storm. Okay. Anyway, yeah, so the plan for next episode is to uh, get started with animals. And then what I'm gonna do when those when those seeds come back from space, <coughs> excuse me, I'll pull up these veggies that are out here and we'll put chocolate and wheat out here. We'll put another uh, we'll put another auto crafter over on in this corner and have it make chocolate chip cookies and then send that up into space and make money off of it too. And it'll be a beautiful thing. Okay, guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video. Hi, Butterfly. And we'll catch you on in the next episode. Bye-bye.